Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here on a Screenwriter's Rant. Um, before we get started, uh, actually this isn't going to be Screenwriter's Rant. This is going to be a uh, segment I used to do on Superfrat called Why I'm Not Seeing These Movies. And uh, basically they're really quick hot takes whether or not I'm going to see the movie uh, going through the IMDb. So uh, uh, we're just going to run through some of the upcoming films. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books, Wokistan, A Novel, and The Pineys, all on Amazon.com. Okay, uh, quick shout out to Cool Guy for my comments. Uh, the comments in, I reacted to a, another Indian trailer for Chorika Mamla. And uh, I thought, I just assumed every movie that came out of India was from Bollywood. Like, that was to me, the name for all Indian movies. But apparently it's a lot more complicated, as everything is. And Cool Guy writes, it is made, uh, about this trailer, it is made in India, but every movie in India is not Bollywood. We have South Indian movie industry, Bollywood, um, Boj Puri industry, Punjabi, Bengali, Marathi, Gu Gujarati, etc. Every state in India uh, has their own movie industry, but the biggest two are Bollywood and South Indian movie industry, and all are in different state languages. Fascinating. Uh, I had no idea. I had no idea there were so many languages in India. Uh, and this, which you have reacted to, is from Mathari Industry, that, that B-grade movie. If you want to react to Bollywood, I've given you the names of movie trailers. So I have to do a little more research to actually get some Bollywood uh, in this mix. But uh, interesting to know, cool guy. Thanks for setting me straight. I appreciate it. Uh, learning stuff here. Learning stuff about the Indian movie industry. And it's quite fascinating. Um, so look for that possibly this weekend. But let's get over to the IMDB and see what's coming out in the next few months. So we're going to look into the future, starting with... Some future rele releases in January. Uh, Grendel and Hansel, uh, which we looked at. Yes, that looked good. Uh, the rhythm section looked pretty decent action movie. Yes. The Assistant. Uh, it, it struck me to be a lot like the secre Secretary. Um, but uh, there was, a, I think there was an interesting sort of murder mystery twist into it. So that's a maybe. The Traitor, which is a Mafia movie. Of course, I would want to see that because uh, I pretty much see all Mafia movies. Uh, this one I didn't know about, the indictment or the incitement about the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin. Um, maybe? Uh, I don't know about that one. Um, might want to check out the trailer. I don't think that's the Shasha Baron Cohen one. He's in, he's in one about the Mossad, but uh, incitement... Sounds kind of like more like a documentary. I, I don't know what they could add to it. Of course, I don't, I'm not too familiar with it. Birds of Prey. I would rather pluck my own eyes out than see that movie. The Lodge. Um, drama horror. Don't know about that. And Then We Danced. A passionate coming-of-age movie. No, thank you. I'm already of age. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Not in a million years would I see this movie. I think we looked at the trailer for that one. Fantasy Island, no. Oh, Bloom House is Fantasy Island. Uh, I am not paying for a movie that I could see for free. Uh, I don't care how many TV shows you drag up and try to make a movie out of them. And uh, I, I think that's a terrible premise for a movie. Uh, the Photograph. Did we look at this one? I think we did. It looked okay. Uh, Downhill. That looked uh, pretty good. Yeah, Julia Louise Dreyfus and Will Ferrell. That looked actually interesting um unlike you know i think will farrell and Kristen wig did like a serious movie or like a serious lifetime movie or something where i don't know like will farrell like kills somebody or something like that ordinary love we looked at god so depressing would never go see it uh but it looks well made the times of bill cunningham documentary about legendary new york times photographer bill cunningham no thank you uh, what about love? 
What about love? What about this movie? Sharon Stone um, and Andy Garcia? Hmm. Uh, but it's not about them. They're probably the parents. Yeah, they're probably the parents. Oh, the parents through their experience. Uh, I don't know. It's a drama and a romance, so probably not. First Lady, Catherine Morales. A woman not married to the president runs for first lady, but she winds up getting a better proposal than she ever... That sounds awful. That sounds terrible. Corbin Burnson, what are you doing in that? Uh, in Feb We're in February now. Bloodshot, that looks kind of cool. Call of the Wild, uh, a Disney dog movie with Harrison Ford. No. Brahms, the boy too. We looked at that one. That looks terrible. No. Um, Emma, what was that one? That was like, uh, yeah, it was from the Jane Austen novel. Eh, maybe it's classic. Greed, uh, anything with, uh, what's the name in it? Um, oh God, what the hell's his name? It's not even listed here. Ilsa Fisher is in it. And, um, Jackie Coogan, right? Isn't that his name? Yeah. I mean, he, he was in Tropic Thunder and he's amazing. I would totally see that. That one's a foreign movie. I don't know that one. Goldie. Uh, no idea. No one I know in this movie. No thank you. The Invisible Man. Actually, this is part... I bet this was part of the Universal Monsters relaunch. Uh, but they probably delayed it and then tried to, you know, re revamp it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It always looks it always looks weird. I, I think we looked at this one, didn't we? Because isn't the Invisible Man in this one like a jilted, he's like a jilted husband or something. He gets divorced and he, he tortures his wife. Yeah, so maybe that was good. Yeah. Oh, Wendy. I remember that one. No, that, that looks terrible. That's like the Peter Pan knockoff. Don't like that. Burden. When a museum celebrating the Ku Klux Klan opens in South Carolina town, the idealistic Reverend Kennedy, Forrest Whitaker, Tries to keep the peace even as he urges the group's grand dragon to disavow his racist past. Well, sounds like Oscar. Um, but I probably wouldn't say it. The Whistlers. Who is that? It looks like, kind of like Brooke Shields. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, it's a comedy. A crime comedy. Crime comedies almost never work. The policeman is intent on freeing a crooked businessman from a prison in Romania. He travels to... Gomera, an island in the Canaries where he must first learn the difficult local dialect, a language which includes hissing and spitting. That, that sounds totally insane. Um, St. Francis. Oh, we looked at that. That, uh, that did not look good. Uh, I, I still, I stick with that. That looked like that weird hipster movie. Uh, a white, white day? What the heck is that? Uh, it's a drama. I don't know. An Icelandic drama. Oh, man, look at the names. I don't know if you can see these names. They're like unpronounceable, the names of the people in this movie, because they're all Icelandic. They've got like little squiggle, squiggly things over the top of the valves. They've got like three G's in a row. It's crazy. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, the Ride. It's all about BMX. No. Uh, <laughs> that's a hard no for me. Um, Onward. I've seen this promoted like uh, way too much. It's some sort of cartoon. Um, I, it just looks terrible, but it's Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. So, I don't know. Uh, the Way Back, which is a new Ben Affleck movie, and former high school basketball phenom struggling with alcoholism is offered a coaching job at his alma mater. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looked okay. The first cow, that looked okay. Yeah, I remember looking at that. The Burnt Orange Heresy. Oh, that's a very long name. Um, I don't... Oh, Donald Sutherland's in it? Where'd they... Wow, they really dug him up. Hired to steal a rare painting from one of the most enigmatic painters of all time. I bet it's Donald Sutherland as the painter. An ambitious art dealer becomes consumed by his own greed and insecurity as the operation spins out of control. Action, drama, thriller. Eh, maybe. It's a weird name. The Burnt Orange Heresy. It's a w really weird name. The Booksellers. B. 
behind the scenes look at the New York rare book world. I, I couldn't think of a documentary more boring. <laughs> that, that sounds like a documentary I would put on to go to sleep. Sometimes always never. Uh, detective fantasy family drama. It's a, uh, with uh, Bill Nye, Sam Riley, Alice Lowe. Eh, he's a good actor. I, I might give it a chance. I don't know. My Spy. Oh, God, no. God, no. We, we looked at that trailer. Uh, that was just brutal. Bloodshot comes up again. How many times are you going to release this movie? Never, rarely, sometimes, always. Yeah, we looked at that. It looks very depressing. I, I don't know. It could be good. I still believe. I don't know anybody in that. The Road's Not Taken. A drama. Day in the life of... Oh, Javier Bardem. Oh, man. He, he, he looks pretty rough in that in that still there. Uh, and Elle Fanning. As he floats through alternate lives he could have lived. What? That's, that's weird. You're going to watch alternate lives? It's very weird. Inside the Rain. I... Uh, I saw that. This is about a bipolar guy. It's interesting. Uh, interesting take. I mean, it's a new disability they haven't exploited for a movie, so why not? A Quiet Place Part 2. Yeah, we looked at that. Eh. The Climb. A look at friendship between two guys that spans over many years. And they're riding bikes. I don't know why it's called The Climb. I'm very confused. Deerskin. Man's obsession with his designer deerskin jacket causes him to blow his life savings and turn to crime? That sounds insane. <laughs> I, okay, maybe. I, I mean, maybe it'll be good. I gotta find the trailer for that one. Mulan? Uh, live action? No, thank you. Come on. It's a cartoon. I, You know, they already made the cartoon. And St. Maud, did we look at this one? Oh, yeah, the pious... Oh, this is, oh, this is a messed up movie. I'd go see this. This, is, this. this movie, this was messed up. I remember looking at that one. All right. So that's the next three months of movies and whether or not I would go see them. You really can judge a book by its cover. And I think you could judge a movie by its movie poster, <laughs> at least in this this exercise. Ah, I guess it would have been funnier if I would taken the time to write it all out. But what are you going to do? That's it for... Uh, uh, why I'm not seeing these movies.